What are you doing? At least for me, it's morning. Good day, wherever you are in the world. Hello there. And welcome. How are you doing today? So, we'll be starting in around five minutes, four minutes. How are you doing today? If you like to join in in kind of like four minutes, you can come to sit already. Maybe move your body a little bit already. Already, already, already. Today I'm saying already a lot. So, how are you guys doing? You can come to a sit either up on a sitting pillow or upon some books. And yeah, just check in with your body for a moment. Feel how your body feels. And maybe say hello. Maybe say hello. Okay. Yeah. I'm excited. Today is uh, day 200. Day 200 of 366. So uh, we're going for some special things today. We're going to uh, do some back strengthening. Um, it's a little, little bit of a sequence that I wrote down. So probably I need to take some looks uh, in between sometimes, but that's all right. Yeah, that's all right. And the sequence will be kind of maybe not that linear, so we need to, <laughs> as I not really um, made up the real sequence in a way that is uh, like flowing in one way. So it's, it's going to be a little bit stuttery, right? But that's all right. So we're going to do this back strengthening, which consists of 10, 10 exercises. But first of all, we are also doing um, some centering, coming into our body, checking in how we're feeling. We're going to do back strengthening and then we do some stretching again. So if you like to join in, Feel free to do so. Come to great sit and we start in a minute. How do you feel today? excited I, I now finally set up a second YouTube channel where I post only dedicated uh, yoga uh, videos so if you're excited for that I'm soon going to post uh, the very first uh, yoga videos on the dedicated YouTube channel and the YouTube channel I used until now is going to be uh, live stream content so I just published there the live stream content and so it's kind of divided so if you want to have uh, high-end content, high-quality content, you can head over to one. If you want to review something in a live stream, and you know, oh, you've tried the 200th day of, of this yoga um, live stream, and you wanted to see there something, you can go back there. And everything will be there, right? So hello, my name is Marcel. And I'm not alone here, but I'm John Pashon. Woohoo! Sean is here for entertainment, energy and motivation. I'm here for the instructions. And if you'd like to join in today, please come to sit. Come to a great sit. Sit down with your sitting bones rooted through the sitting pillow. Through, the, through a book, maybe, if you have some books. 
and hello pumpkin thank you so much for the host sit up from your sitting bones to the top of the head breathing in deep belly into the chest coming into your body today breathing out so pumpkin had a wonderful birthday yesterday he had a great stream stream birthday yesterday that was awesome breathing in deep into the belly into the chest get long from your sitting bones up to the top of the head Breathing in deep into the belly, into the chest. How are you doing, pumpkin? And breathing out. Coming into your body, taking really deep breaths here. So first of all, filling up the belly. And then filling up the chest. Get long from the sitting bones to the top of the head and release. Breathing in deep, as deep as you can. Belly and the chest. And from there, release your arms by your sides. Bring the arms up by your sides. Breathing in here. Go in your rhythm. The hands are over the head. Hold your breath. And breathing out, releasing the arms down. And the arms are lying next to your body. Hold your breath. And breathing in again. And belly into the chest and go in your rhythm. Holding the arms overhead, holding the breath. And breathing out, releasing the arms. Holding the breath and the arms are lying next to your body. Smiling here, good job. And breathing in deep. Belly into the chest. Continue two more times. Your rhythm feels good for you. Coming into your body. Feeling how the legs are connected with the floor. Feeling how the feet are connected with the floor. Maybe however you're sitting right now. And last time. Feeling how the hips, sitting bones are connected with the floor. From there, root down and sit up tall. Sitting up tall. Breathing out, releasing. Bring your hands to your thighs. Feel how the palms are connected to the thighs and start to move the palms forward and backward. How does that feel? How does that feel? Connect the palm to the palms. How do the palms feel right now? Is there some warmth? Is there some coldness? How do the thighs feel? What do you feel on the thighs? And hey, Rivey, 
Revitercity. Revitercity. Mm -hmm. That's different. Riff. I call you Riff at the moment. How are you doing? How are you feeling today? So good to have you, man. I'll move your palms forward and backward. I hope you're doing good. And just connect with the feeling on your palms, but then also connect with the feeling on your thighs. My name is Marcel, and we're doing here yoga every day for 45 minutes, if you like to join in. We just started five minutes ago, so you're very welcome to join in. We're doing some back strengthening today, so if you like to do that, feel free to join in. And connect with your body a little. Riff is good. I'm just winding down before bed. That's great, man. That's great. Hope you had a great day releasing everything right, releasing all the thoughts about the day coming. Tonight of great, great sleep, right? So from there, bring your shoulders forward, then upward, then backward and down. Forward, upward, backward and down. You know, for me, it's the opposite. I just stood up. So. Yeah, how was your day? How have you been doing? You had a harsh day or was your day great? So bring the shoulders forward, upward, backward and down, forward, upward, backward and down, forward, upward, backward and down. And ideally you can join in this yoga lesson if you want to wind down completely forward upward backward and down hi pumpkin so good to see you so good to have you <sighs> i hope you had a great stream yesterday i was there a long time so it lurked basically the long uh, the whole time however as i came back from eating or something you weren't online anymore so you hosted somebody yeah I spent the day at the beach but too stressed to relax I couldn't quiet my mind oh yeah you know accepting that drift sometimes it's all about accepting what is and you don't need to quiet the mind but just accept that your mind is going through something and listening to that but probably you know you seem like you're already advanced a little bit uh, as long as i hear you right as i see you type right thank you i've been awake a long time and the wine gone right to the head might pass out soon that's awesome pumpkin don't worry about it don't worry about it so if you like to join in for a while feel free to do so but probably the wine will prevent that so we're going to some back strengthening today first of all let's come to all fours that's a good perspective riff yeah yeah thank you man Coming to all fours, bring your shoulders over the wrists and bring your hips over the knees. And from there, we're just connecting with the mounts of the fingers right now to the floor. So have the mounts of the fingers press into the floor and from there start arcing up from your lower spine. Breathing in deep. And thank you guys for sticking around with me. Breathing out, releasing the head. And slowly arcing up from the lower spine, vertebra by vertebra up, breathing in deep. 
and breathing out, releasing the head. So we're just warming up a little bit here. Working up, vertebra, vertebra up. And rounding down from the top of the head down, vertebra, by vertebra down. Good job. So, Riff, I'm from Switzerland. Where are you from? I'm curious because you're going to bed very soon. And yeah, I know Pumpkin Panda is coming from United Kingdom. So I'm from London. Not London exactly, but yeah, somewhere near near London, right? <laughs> I forgot already again. Arcing up from the lower spine up, breathing in deep. Breathing out, rounding from the top of the head. Down. Good. And from there, sit down to your back. Uh, sit down to your heels. Sit down on your heels. Either tuck or untuck the toes here and bring your hands together. Bring the mounts of the fingers together, connect them with each other and push in through the mounts of the fingers. Then bring the fingers together and push in through the mounts of these fingers, through, through your wrists as well a little bit. But feel all the mounts of the fingers connected right here, right now. And release. And again, pushing in. I'm in California, about three hours north of Los Angeles. Wow. Great, awesome riff. Yeah, that's already like midnight there, I think. Slightly after midnight riff, is this correct? So, at, at the moment it's seven o'clock for me in the morning. So, and I think like it's minus seven hours for me, so it should be midnight, is that correct? Um, I'm curious. Release, and then push into the mounts of the fingers. Technically, I'm in London, just on the outskirts. Yeah. Ah, okay. Pumpkin. Now I got it. Release. And again, one more time, connecting with all the mounts of the fingers, pushing them together, plowing the fingers a little bit, and then releasing. And why are we doing this? We are doing this, shake out your wrists, shake out your elbows, shake out your shoulders. We are doing this to protect our wrists. So we want to learn to push the mounts of the fingers into the floor whenever we are upside down and doing something upside down-ish. Ah, it's 10 p.m. It's nine hours. Ah, oh, that's all right. That's all right. It's nine hours in front. Good to know. Thank you for telling me. Shake your wrist, shake your elbows, shake your shoulders. And yeah, you know what? Let's start with the back practice. So I, I made some notes here and I'm going to use the notes just to, just to stick to the back practice that we're going to do today. So um, first of all, let's get to our back already. Let's get to our back. And we bring our legs up and we bring the ankles close to our bum. You can bring your elbows next to your body, press them in, the fingers pointing up. And from there we just lift up with our hips, with our lower back up and we kind of straighten. We just want to straighten. And we release down again. Can't push vertebra by vertebra, releasing down again and then pushing up again. That's all what we are going to do right now. Just holding it there. Make sure your knees are not falling outside. So you keep the knees over the heels. So there's some intention pulling the knees somewhat together instead of like falling, letting them fall apart. Pushing up and releasing vertebra by vertebra down. And we just want to straighten the body here. So we straighten the body up. From the knees to your shoulders, kind of be in one line, drawing the belly in a little bit, doing awesome, releasing down, 
vertebra by vertebra down. And let's go into a full bridge pose right here, right now. So the difference is that we're pushing the hips a little bit further up and we're taking the belly a little bit further up and that we are shifting the shoulders behind our back together. So let's go there. Shift your hips up, hips further up, lower back, back further up. Bring your shoulders under the body and interlace the fingers behind of you. Lacing the fingers behind of you, check with your knees that they're still over the heels. And thinking about looking over the head, you can kind of look over the head with your eyes and breathe in deep into the belly, into the chest. And breathing out. One more time, deep breath in. And releasing, vertebra by vertebra, coming down to the floor again. Great, how did that feel? You really want to go vertebra by vertebra, slowly down to the floor. Awesome, good. Let me kind of take a look about the next exercise. We're just going through the exercises. They are not really ordered too good, <laughs> but we make them work. So bring the knees up, knees up 90 degrees. We bring the hands to the thighs right now. And what we're doing looks like easy, but it isn't, it really isn't. We kind of want to straighten the hands first. And from there we draw the feet in towards us. So we kind of engage the feet towards us like that but we hold against it with the arms. So we're drawing the feet in and pushing against it with the arms. Breathing in deep into the belly, into the chest. Great. Good. Keep on going. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. Good job. Take, take a breather here. Just lie on your floor, breathe in deep. It's quite intense. If you don't really know what what to do or how how it should feel please let me know you always feel you can always feel free to ask questions in the chat something is unclear let me explain yeah. and we already turn around <laughs> come to back to all fours and we're just doing some table pose here quickly Checking that your shoulders are over the wrists and hips are over the knees again. The mounts of the fingers are connected with the floor. Doing awesome. Bring your left leg to the back and your right arm forward. You can look over the back and kind of check if your leg goes straight to the back. And then release your head again, looking downward to the floor. So you, we don't want to look forward to the fingers, but we look downward to the floor. Draw the belly in and up and push your foot out to an imaginary wall, breathing in deep. And then drawing the elbow and the knee together, try to keep this movement as controlled as you can, rounding your head, rounding your elbow, your knee, and extend. Let's just go three times together, elbow and knee together, rounding and extending you're doing awesome and yeah so good to meet you riff if you're still here really appreciate you coming by and extend and then release down change around other side bring the right leg to the back left arm forward Push into the an image in your wall if you back leg and get draw the belly in and up so your belly is engaged. 
but still so that you can breathe, right? And get long from your back foot to the top of the fingers. Your head is relaxed. And then draw the elbow and the knee together, breathing out. And extend. And together. Stand. Together. Take your time. Make the movement as controlled as you can. Draw the head also in. Extend. And let's come down. Woo. Good. Sit back on your heels. Shake your wrists out. Shake your elbows out. Interlace the fingers and give. Take a break here and give your wrists some love here. Good. Smile. Don't forget to smile sometimes. <laughs> Good. And maybe turn your wrists into the other side if you can. So circling into the other side. And you can really just grab on really, really softly with your fingers. There's no need to grab on hard. Good. And then release. Coming down. Um, you know what? Yeah, let's do that. Well, this wrist movement is cool. Ah, I'm glad you're liking it, Riff. I'm glad you're liking it. There's some more of the wrist movement we can do later. Maybe we come to that. So let's lie on our floor. Lie on the floor. Whoo. You know, I hope it feels good. Let's lie on the floor and we're continuing our back journey here together. So bring the arms forward. We have the head somewhat released. And then we bring the left leg up and the right arm up first of all to kind of warm up a little bit change around left arm up right leg up and change around right arm up left leg up and change around okay three more times Oop. one two and three good Take a breather here, just a quick one. And we're going to full Superman. Are you ready to be a little Superman? Good, extend your arms forward, extend your feet to the back and then and you're ready. Draw the belly in and up and lift up. Your head doesn't need to look forward and up, but it's relaxed. Looking down to the floor. Great, breathing in deep. See what's happening as you're breathing. I'm breathing out. Breathing in deep into the belly, into the chest. And releasing. And let's count on. Five, four, three, two, one. And release down. Great job. Great job. Shake your hips a little bit side to side. How does your body feel? Good. Good. And from there, let's come into a yeah, into a plank pose. So bring your elbows under, step up with your back foot, and let's come up. And let's just stay here in the in a um, little bit of a plank pose right now. Drawing the belly in and up. And breathing in deep. Keep your shoulders over the elbows. Um, over the elbows if you can. Your fingers can point forward. Great. Breathing in deep. How does your body feel? How do you like that? Oh, I need to do that a little bit more often. I feel like for me it's hard right now. Uh, 
I'm, I'm not sure why I'm shaking. I don't feel like I'm, I'm weak or anything, but something in my body is shaking. How about you? How do you feel? How is your body feeling right now? Let's five, four, three, two, one, and release. Release your knees. Bring the knees to the sides of your mat, big toes together. And release your arms forward, release your head down, your elbows a little bit away from the ears. And just breathe in deep into the belly, into the chest. So if you can't breathe in here into the belly in this child's pose, this is called child's pose, then maybe loosen your belt because if there's some pressure on your belly, then you really can't breathe in. Bring in deep into the belly, into the chest. Great. And from there, coming up again. Good. And now we did just plank. And we can go to uh, side plank. Sorry for that. I, I just need to check with the exercises, so give me a moment. You can move your body a little, a little bit if you like. Yeah, we don't have too much time. But yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, I see. Let's do something else first, and then we go to uh, side plank. So bring your hands forward. You come back into a plank position right now. But a full fledged plank position. And from there we want to go down with our elbows 90 degrees down, coming forward and down. But first of all, you can also go down with your knees if, if that's better for you. And I just show it to you like this first. So coming down with 90 degrees of the elbows and holding it there, right? And same like that. Let's do it together. Coming down, forward and down, 90 degrees. Elbows stay close to your sides. And holding it there for a moment. Drawing the belly in and up. Head is relaxed. And pushing up. And let's go one more time together. You can put your knees down if necessary. Coming down, elbows by your sides, head relaxed. Day 200 today, so awesome. I'm pushing up, great release. Down, shake your arms. Woo, woo -hoo. you're doing awesome. You guys are doing awesome. And from there, let's come forward again in the plank position, but today, or now, not today, we bring the feet together and we shift to the left. Feet together and shifting to the left. Bring your hips up, bring the upper leg forward. Upper leg forward and it's kind of standing in front of your hips and push your hips up with that. Drawing the belly in and up, great. This is variation one, if you like to go further, can stagger your feet into variation two. Keep your hips up, hips up, drawing the belly in and up. Make sure your shoulders are behind the wrists. Good, bring your foot up, drawing the belly in and up. This is variation three. If you like to go there, go there. If you don't, if you can't, honor where you are today. You're doing an amazing job. Variation four, bring your foot in to your tie, in the belly, in and up, hips up. Great, smiling. Your head can be extended by your ear, next to your ear or up into the sky, shoulders onto the back together and releasing down. Woo. And if you just did variation one, awesome job, doing great job. Shake your arms, preparing for the other side. Whoop. I quickly change the side so I can look at you. Woo. 
And if you have any questions, don't forget to ask. I'm here for you. Bring your hands forward, come into plank position, bring the feet together and shift to the right side right now. So to the right foot, to the right, the outer side of the foot, of the right foot is connected to the floor. Bring the left foot forward, push your hips up. Can This is variation one, drawing the belly in and up. If you want, you can just stay here, that's fine. If you like to go further, stagger the feet. Variation two, you can already extend your arm here if you like. Variation four, extend your foot up. There's a little info here. If you look down with your eyes, you want to be able to see barely the feet. Whoop! If you fall out of it, laugh about it. Woo! It's kind of shaky for me right now. Good, and then variation four, bring your foot in. Foot on the thigh, push your hips up into the sky, drawing the belly in and up. Great job. Whoop! <laughs> What's going on today? And bring your hand next to the ear or up into the sky. Shoulders onto the back together. Release down. Great job. And from here, release down, shake your arms. Breathe deep into the belly, into the chest. Good. So I need to quickly check. There's one more on the back. One more exercise standing. And one more on the back. So two on the back, one, one standing. So I think we're going up to standing first because there's another exercise that I want to do with you. Then we can do the last two exercises on the floor, on our back. So stand up in a way, really mindfully standing up here right now. Great. Take time standing up. And we're going to do YTWA. And we're just doing one, one uh, walkthrough of that. So please, Bring your hips to the back, extend your arms up into the sky. And we're coming into a sitting position, keeping your knees over the heels. So there might be a hamstring stretch right here if you found that awesome. If you don't find it, don't worry about it. But getting long from your hips to the fingers here. Good job. And from there we bring our arms by our sides. Whoop. I'm just turning to show you. Keeping the knees over the heels. Arms by the sides, breathing in deep, shoulders on the back together, breathing out, changing to T position, arms really to the sides right now, like a T, like the letter T, I know you probably like T, bring the shoulders onto the back together, breathing in deep one time, into the belly, into the chest, you're doing awesome. And breathing out, bring the arms together, W. And maybe a little bit away from the back, keeping the knees over the heels, breathing in deep. Oh, great. Get long from your hips to the head. And then bring the arms to the back, A position. Shoulders really onto the back now, shoulder blades onto the back together. Arms go away from the back as far as you can. Breathing in deep, you're doing awesome, stay with it. And then release, stand up, tall, bring your arms into the sky. And release, arms down, shake, and jump a little bit, release your legs. Does your body feel? And let's come to the floor together right now. And let's do the last two exercises here. Yeah. So first of all, let's bring some awareness into our lower back. And we want to connect the lower back with the floor right here, right now. And from there, 
we lift the right foot up. So on our toes. And then we lift the left foot up. You can extend the feet a little bit further. Wait, just like that. Yeah, you're drawing the toes up. And then drawing the toes up off the other foot. And keeping your lower back connected to the floor. This is the task, changing around, engaging the left leg here. The whole left leg is engaged, keeping the lower leg on the floor, lower back on the floor. Great. Just to bring a lot of awareness to our lower back right now. Good job. And then slowly release that. So, well, it wasn't probably that intense, but now we're doing the last in really intense exercise. So what we're doing is inverse supermans. So we want to connect again, lower back to the floor. So how are you doing this? We're drawing the belly in and up when we're engaging the belly button goes in and up and we're engaging the, the belly and the chest. From there we extend the arms and we kind of lift the legs up and the arms up and release down breathe in deep take a breather and again you want to connect the lower back to the floor if that's new for you for you don't worry about it take some time to figure it out right drawing the belly in and up and lifting the feet off, lifting the feet, the arms up. And release down. Good job. Let's go one more time here. Last time, then we're starting to relax and stretch a little bit more as long as we have time, right? We're going until 45. So drawing the belly in and up. Extending the feet, extending the arms, lift off. Breathe in deep. Let's go a little bit longer here today. Five, four, three, two, one, and release down. Good job. Shift your hips a little bit left and right. You're doing an amazing job. And from here, Let's bring your knees up and let's hold today the side. So bring your, bring your arms next to the body, elbows next to your shoulders, fingers are pointing up. Cactus position is this called. And shift your hips to the left, hips to the left and release your knees to the right. And from here you really want to have your shoulders connected with the floor. And breathing in deep into the belly, into the chest. If that's too easy for you, tell me. And we can intensify for me. That feels good right now. So listening to your body. And really try to connect your shoulders with the floor. And from there, you can bring your head and look into up the opposite, opposite direction your knees are facing. Breathing in deep into the belly, into the chest. Sorry for looking away from the camera. Sometimes <laughs> it's like that. Breathing in deep into the belly, into the chest. And using your breath as a tool here. Breathing in deep, last time, belly, chest. And release, coming up again with the legs slowly, as slow as you can, coming up. And shift your hips to the other side, the right side maybe, and release your knees to the left. And from there, Keep your shoulders connected to the floor 
and look to the right, right side. Your knees are falling to the left. Your head is looking to the right, breathing in deep into the belly, into the chest. Accepting what is right now, accepting if there are a lot of thoughts, it's all right. To the chest. Using your breath as a tool here to find more stretches in your body. So you really want to breathe in deep into the belly, into the chest. From there, slowly bring your legs up again. Shift your hips into the middle. Slowly, take your time. This is a deep stretch here. Really take time, feel how your body feels right now. It might be opening something in your body and that's all right. Then extend your feet slowly, slowly. Bring your arms by your sides. Palms are pointing up towards the sky. Feet are extended and toes are facing away from each other. Close your eyes and just be where you are right now. Just be where you are. Closing your eyes, just be. And I will get you back to your body in about two minutes. Just be.
deepening your breath. Start to move your fingers, start to move your toes. When you're ready, coming back in your own body. Coming back to your body. <laughs> And then draw your knees in towards your belly. Have your eyes still closed. Draw your knees in towards your belly. Shift yourself to either the left or the right side. Coming to lie down on your side body. And from there release all the tension in your body. Making this position comfortable, this side body position comfortable to yourself. Release the shoulders, release the neck, the tongue, softening the skin of the face. Releasing the arms, the elbows, the wrists, the fingers, the chest, the belly, the hips, the legs, the knees, the ankles, the heels, the toes. Breathing in deep and feel carried by the gravity of the earth earth carrying you right now. With your next breath in, lift yourself up, come into a final sitting position. Lift yourself up through the side into a final sitting position. Bring your hands in front of the heart together as soon as you're in the sitting position. Honoring your yoga practice today. Releasing the arms, the hands, opening the eyes and thank you for practicing with me on this 200th day of uh, our yoga journey together. If you'd like to join in another day, I'm here every day from 7 o'clock to 7.45 Central European time. So that's nine hours ahead of the time from California. So we learned that today. I'm grateful for that. And yeah. Um, if you like to join my Discord, feel free to join my Discord. If you have any questions, ideas or suggestions, I'm always happy to hear them. Next to that, I have also a YouTube channel. If you like to review the, the live streams, you can go over there. Thank you for hitting the subscribe and the bell, of course, if you like this content. And next to that, I'm now very happy to go and rate somebody. And thank you so much for being here today, Riff. Thank you so much for being here today, Pumpkin. And I honor that very deeply. And Riff, if you're still here, have a wonderful night of the sl night of sleep. Have a wonderful night. Yeah. And Pumpkin, I wish you all a wonderful night. Sleep well, rest well, and get a lot of energy for the next day. Yeah. Let's go and rate somebody. Let's see who we can rate today. And, uh, and please, I, I honor every follow, of course, that you can give me here on Twitch. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> I forgot about that, but then that everything else. So let's rate. Um, hmm. We could raid Wantanard. Let's raid Wantanard today. Um, not sure what he's doing. He's just chatting. Let's let's check that out. What, he, what he's doing. So have a great guy, great uh, day, you guys. Great night. Uh, sleep well, rest well, and see you very soon. Raid and host one tonight. Bye guys.